uh, editor, the American economist uh, LaRouche, uh, has stressed that there was no real solution uh, come to at the European summit meeting because uh, the debt is still unpayable mm. and uh, the populations will not go along with the level of austerity they're speaking about. The uh, Greeks have just announced a referendum yeah. and there was nothing really put into place to have uh, 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 funds for uh, positive economic development. Mm. So ha have you discussed or would there be any discussion in the Nordic Forum for a kind of Roosevelt solution where instead of the way the economies have been going into uh, speculation with the deregulation and service economy, that we have a kind of Glass-Steagall division of the banks to protect the normal banks and to write off the speculative debt and then to have massive credits for building up of the real production economy. Well, we've not discussed that in, in, in that sense here at, at our meeting, but we decided to, uh, uh, to lay down a, a working group to go over our uh, policies regarding the banking sector uh, and uh, on, a broad, on a broad basis, because uh, Nordic, there is a degree of cross-border banking within the Nordic countries, especially the Scandinavian ones. Um, and also to have our views clear on, on things down in Europe and what will happen in, in, in general terms. So obviously the Nordic countries are interested in, in uh, sort of having their own voice in, in this, how this financial sector will be reshaped. Uh, regarding the debt problems, uh, obviously we rely on information mainly from Finland since they are a member of the Eurogroup. So we discussed how things looked and so forth. But. Uh, uh, that it was not on the basis that we had the solutions for the rest of Europe. I mean, obviously this is a this has to be dealt with in some steps. Firstly, you have to avoid a total breakdown of the system. So you can call the first measures uh, so, sort of a rescue measures. But I would personally agree that you need to then have a strategy for how you how you go further and and and, and build up the economies and create growth and. As yet, you don't sort of see much of, of that in, in, in the packages being designed. Uh, now, of course, the concern is, uh, is the same as before. Will this spread to other countries? And, and obviously, Italy is the really, really big country concerned. Um, that, that is too early to, to tell. So uh, all one can hope for is that uh, the attempts will be successful in that sense that it is uh, possible to avoid a total collapse or breakdown of, of the euro and, uh, and, and, and individual countries. Um, when it comes to the measures that individual countries have to take, um, such as Greece, uh, obviously uh, it, it is a new, new situation if they will put the austerity measures for a referendum and one can one can question how likely is it that the population will accept to uh, shelter an increased burden. As, and, as and, in Iceland? Uh, yes, well, the, <laughs> the experience from Iceland is quite clear. If people believe they have a choice just to vote, vote it out, they will, are very likely to do so. But, however, I think generally the voters are, understand that these things need to be tackled. Uh, so, in order to get the support for measures of this kind, they, uh, in the, for the first, they need to be executable, they need to be reasonable, they cannot be too, too drastic. And secondly, you must be able to show uh, that it is worthwhile, that you will get rewarded in terms of better, uh, better life afterwards. So I think it's difficult to put a straightforward austerity package to the vote if it does not uh, followed or supported by a long-term strategy, how you get out of the crisis and how you build the economy up and how you improve standard of living again. So this is not an easy phenomenon to, to deal with, in, in, in also in a democratic sense.
Yeah, this is why we have been saying that instead of the whole process of deregulation, where mm. it's the financial markets mm. and only the interests of the private interests of the financial markets, that we have to have a Roosevelt shift mm. back to the states, the nations, who are operating on the basis of the general welfare, yeah. which are having strict rev regulation, uh, uh, rolling back the, uh, the deregulation and allowing all these financial derivatives and all these uh, exotic instruments mm. going in regulating uh, separating and protecting the normal bank yes, yes, system yes. through a Glass-Steagall procedure yes. and then the idea of state credits mm. which has so far been taboo but mm. uh, as Roosevelt did which was to issue state credits to set into motion yeah. great infrastructure projects, yeah. uh, loans to industry, to agriculture, and get back to building up the physical production economy. Yeah. Well, I, I welcome, I, I'll say that much, I welcome the, the discussion that is uh, taking place now about, uh, call it a, a Glass-Steagall uh, uh, again, or, or, or a, some kind of securing the ordinary customer banking and separating that from the more risk-taking investment uh, um, manures. I, I mean, I personally, I'm very interested in that discussion and would like it to materialize. Uh, of course, the problem now for a lot of the countries is that their debt levels have risen to such height that it is not easy to to uh, uh, go in with a investment stimulative uh, measures. That is, for instance, in Iceland's case, our very we are in a very tight position. We can not allow ourselves to uh, increase the debt by by stimulating the economy too much, um, and and borrowing borrow more to even though it was good investments, profitable investments, there are certain limits you have to sort of look at. Uh, lastly, I would say regarding the measures taken, uh, uh, you I think it makes a huge difference how you architect the measures you take. You can. There are many ways to reach the same economical goals in, in terms of bringing down deficit and so forth. And I would suggest that you had a closer look at the Icelandic program, which was in many ways unorthodox in the, in the ways that how we architected our measures on both the revenue and expenditure side. We saved the welfare services for, for cuts as much as we could. On the revenue side, we increased taxes on the high income, uh, the wealthy, the, the, the capital gainers. So uh, you should not, you, you should make a clear distinct, di distinction between the different approaches that countries take. And, and, and in my mind, if it is a international cooperation, be it through the IMF or, or be it what the EU is doing now uh, in relation to some member countries, uh, I, I think personally the country concerned should have a, a lot of flexibility to try to choose its best, best path, provided that they are, they are getting control of the situation. Uh, in our case, I think that was a very important part of the uh, of, of the IMF cooperation that we got a lot of space to decide, uh, choose the mixtures of measures and, uh, and it made it more, more accept, uh, acceptable and, and much, much more bearable for society. Uh, so as long as you can deliver what needs to be delivered, it should be up to you to choose the, the, the methods. Yeah. Just one thing, that the, uh, the type of, st of state credits uh, we have been proposing, Mr. LaRouche and our uh, magazine, mm. have been where the, the nation itself can create credit, yeah. not borrowing on the no, no. Uh, international uh, uh, loan markets, but uh, as Alexander Hamilton did, the yeah. first Treasury Secretary, where there was a uh, national bank that was set up which issued credits, and as long as it was used for productive purposes, uh -huh. then it would not be a problem, yeah. but used for future-oriented yeah. yes, yes, projects. Yes, I mean, the, the mm -hmm. measures like that would, uh, would come in very handy. Uh, when you have this big dilemma of, of, of high debt, and, uh, but at the same time need to facilitate uh, growth and, and build up in infrastructure and mm -hmm. invest in education, environmental, green, uh, uh, innovation and so, so forth. And how can you do that if, 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 if you are 
highly indebted, mm -hmm. and at the times when the financial markets are very unstable and, and, and the cost of borrowing likely to, to be rising and so forth, then I, I mean I, I would not for one exclude <laughs> unusual uh, measures like that, but but we have not been into that as yet to discuss anything like.